We're going to start out uh, with what's going on with Matthew, and there it is. It's made its way into the Caribbean. It became a tropical storm as of this morning at, at 11 o'clock, and really the storm, uh, we really do want to watch it, even though it's very, very far away in distance and in time. Uh, we do want to watch it very carefully because it's on a trajectory where it could come close to the east coast. 65 mile an hour winds moving to the west at 15 miles an hour. There's where it is by Monday, a category two storm hitting eastern Cuba. So again, a real, real strong storm by that point. Now here are the forecast models. Uh, they're fairly tight as to where the storm is. Where do they go from there? We'll take you into Sunday and Monday and look, it's made that right turn that we've been talking about moving on up through Cuba toward the Bahamas. But where does it go from there? Now current indications are but again, this is a week from today. Uh, so again, that's a long time away and a long distance away. But it's indicating that a cool front and it's associated upper wind flow that's basically coming in out of the west will blow the thing on out to sea. We'll steer the currents of this thing on out to sea. For now, though, the big thing going on is scattered thunderstorms into the area. Now, you will note that areas to the northwest of Williamsburg, Williamsburg and northwestward have really been getting some heavy rain over parts of the Middle Peninsula as well, but mostly uh, in the northern neck but mostly in the West Point area, which is out of our viewing area and points westward from there. Now, I want to show you what's going on with our future track computer model, and this should read between now and Friday night at midnight. 73, 74. Temperatures don't drop all that much overnight to around 70 degrees. And you see these scattered showers and thunderstorms. But the farther southward that you get, the less your chances of seeing some rain in terms of solid rain. There'll be a stray shower, thunderstorm tomorrow, one in the afternoon, pretty close to 78, 80 degrees, three in the afternoon. Afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms, but the big stuff is off to the west and the north. Here's where things are Thursday evening at 7. Now we take you on into the nighttime hours. Things settle down a bit overnight. And then they perk back up again during the day coming up on Friday, 11 o'clock in the morning, take you on to 3 in the afternoon, and then 7 o'clock in the evening, scattered showers and thunder showers into the region. So, yeah, we're going to see some rainfall, but the bulk of the heavy rainfall is likely to be to our north and west. Here's where things are over the next couple of days, uh, all the way on into Friday night at midnight, Saturday morning, midnight. Eastern shore, you could get some pockets of heavy rain over Accomack County, but look at this, the Hampton Roads area, not all that much. And then you go to the north and west and really pretty big rainfall going on. Here's another view. I want to show you the wider view, show you what's going on. Uh, and this has been varying a little bit lately, 4.7, 4.9. Earlier forecast model run had uh, three to six to perhaps even eight inches of rainfall in the next couple of days coming up into some of these areas. So again, it still needs to be watched carefully, but it's starting to come together and look like, again, everything's going to be to our north and west in terms of the big, big rain, but we'll still see rain the next couple of days. 80, 81, an isolated shower as things finally break free a little bit on Saturday and certainly break free coming up by Sunday.